Hi, my name is Sully and my intention today is to teach you some of the tools that you need that I use to roll your canoe or C1. Remember, you should never be on a whitewater river without this knowledge and the capability of rolling your canoe, C1, or kayak. And remember, whether in a pool, a lake, or on the river, never paddle alone. The first maneuver we are going to go over is the brace. It's something that you will be using a lot on the river. Initiate the brace. You are going to stretch your arms out with your paddle parallel to the surface of the water and use your paddle blade like a beaver tail. Following it up with a hip snap. Paddle blade, hip snap. Arm stretched out and hip snap. Slow motion now. The paddler lays out on his paddle, fully stretched out. Pushing down on the paddle blade and hip snapping up, the paddler will roll right back up into the aggressive paddling position. Practice this frequently as the brace is a key element to finishing the roll. Next, I will break down the roll. The roll is basically when a paddler goes upside down in the water and uses his paddle and body to roll back up to the surface. In quick motion now, now let's break down the roll. The paddler is going to go into the tucked position with his blade against the water. As the paddler rolls over, his blade will move across the top of the water and into the brace position. Again in slow motion, paddle across the top of the water, head down and shoulders facing the water, paddler braces and rolls up. One more time. We're also going to look at this from under the water. Watch in real time and then we will break this down underwater. Here you notice the paddler as he rolls over, sweeps, braces, hip snaps, and back up. Let's break it down. Paddler rolls over in a tucked position with his head against the bow. As he moves into the bottom position, he does a sweeping maneuver with his blade across the surface of the water, rolling his shoulders and head downward and then bracing and back up into a paddling position. One more time in a close-up view. Notice the grip on the paddle that the paddler has as he rolls over into his transition. He stays tucked, rolls his shoulders and face downward while sweeping the paddle across the surface of the water and then goes into a full brace and hip snap and as he rolls up into a paddling position. Now let's look at a few of the mistakes that are commonly made in the roll. We will use Zach as an example. As he rolls over, he does a sweeping maneuver but his paddle is down and his hand is out of the water instead of into his chest. His head is up and out of the water and his shoulders are perpendicular to the water rather than parallel. He should be facing down and in a brace position. Here you will see the paddler roll over, go to do a roll, mistake it, readjust with his paddle against the surface of the water, he faces down and does a brace and rolls up. One time, slow motion, you really can see the paddle at the surface of the water here. In no time, you will have this roll down. 
Just keep practicing and you'll look like this. Have fun and enjoy the whitewater.